Hello. Hello, anyone. I am Lee Keckner. I am on day three of my 33 days. Mindfulness is just a tool that brings you to the present moment, which is the only place where life is happening. So it's not, re it's not related to anything that is a religion or anything you have to be spiritual. It's just a tool. I think like brushing your teeth, you keep your teeth clean, you keep your mind clean. So if I could just invite you for a second to sit comfortably, if you're laying down, if you're sitting, maybe uncross your legs, put both of your feet on the ground. And um, I love the idea of just experiencing, feeling the earth support you. You don't have to do it anything and the earth has got you, holding you, keeping you on the ground. So just feel with your feet, even if it's through your shoes or if you're barefoot, put both feet on the ground and just be grateful for a moment that we're here and that our feet are touching the ground. I think when we can find the simplicity of being grateful for stuff, it's, it's uh, amazing. It's amazing. You can just be happy for nothing, for just sitting here. Today, I'm going to talk about nature. And as silly as it sounds, nature has not been a huge thing in the forefront of my mind. Nature's just been something that's around me all the time, but I've taken it for granted and I've swam in the ocean and I've tubed in boats and drank beer on the lakes and um, enjoyed nature, but haven't been really present in it and grateful for it. So it was interesting today, right before this, I went to Fryman Canyon to walk my two dogs and I loved doing this, but I was going to haul ass because I had to get back in time um, to, to get set up to do this at 11. I got a little late start. So anyway, I took my dogs and on the way I'm driving and I'm thinking, problem number one, out of being mindful, I'm thinking, what am I going to talk about today? What happened yesterday that was mindful? What can I share today? So I'm doing this kind of jabber jabber that I do in my head. And then I got to Fryman and I got my phone and I plugged in my thing. I'm listening to a book on tape that I'm really enjoying, Love Warrior by Gwendolyn Melton something or other. Anyway, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty amazing book. So I was excited to listen to my book. So I plug it in. I look my phone that I charged all night was at 1%. And I was like, dang it, because I like to plug in, put that in, and the whole ass, and I get to read a book, walk, and exercise my dogs all at once. So I was like, dang it. And then I was like, oh, how interesting. My phone's not charged. And I thought I charged it all night. It must not have been plugged in the charger. I guess I will experience my walk. Imagine that. Because I plug in and go hard and fast when I walk. So I didn't have my phone, so I thought I'm going to mindfully walk. I'm still going to go fast so I can get back on time. So I got out of my car and I took a deep breath and I said, let me see things anew today. Let me be present and let me see anything, a rock, a person, a tree, um, anything. So I started my walk and um, right off the bat I saw two guys with a dog and my puppy pulls me like crazy to go say hi to dogs, but I was in a hurry and I got to get through it fast. So I wound her leash super tight, and was holding her super tight so I could pass everyone really fast with dogs. And then I felt my shoulder and I was exhausted. And I was like, what am I doing? So I let out the leash and I stopped and let her say hi to the dogs and go with the flow of what was happening instead of fighting it. And what I found was we were moving faster with her doing two butt sniffs and going than me trying to wrangle her across and struggle. So it was just, I was mindful that my body and my shoulder and even the dog and the other dogs were telling me, relax, loosen up on the, the, the leash a little bit. So I did that and then we started flowing smoother. Even though I was doing short sniff stops, we were going faster then. And then I started looking at how already some of the trees were dying or getting dark because it's so hot out already. and. Then I would see just as bright um, yellow flowers or bright purple flowers. And it was just such a surprise and a treat. And I saw a ton of white butterflies flitting around and two monarch butterflies. And I looked at every person and I said good morning to them. And as they went, oh, and kind of came out of their isolation and looked at me, they said good morning. And I kind of got an extra skip in my step and they did too. Basically, I unplugged on my walk. And I made the decision to look around and see. And I saw two birds going in and out of, of 
a tree and then later I saw two birds going in and out of a tree and it made me think of me and my husband and the dance of life that we're doing. And they would go in a tree and disappear and then one would come out and then the other one would join it. And I, I just allowed myself to make that whatever I wanted, which was like the dance of life with my husband. So I had all of these simple precious moments because I unplugged from my walker, my Walkman. I was gonna say my walk walker or my Walkman. I unplugged from my phone because it was dead. I looked at what was happening. I heard my, my breath. I hadn't even heard myself breathe before when I fast walked because it was plugging into something else. But I heard, I heard how heavy I was breathing, which I appreciated because I was getting my heart rate up. And then I was grateful for my breath. That it breathed, my body breathes me without me even thinking about it. So there were so many little things. And when I came down the hill, um, I came out onto the street and there were, you know, there's there's some people on bikes and stuff and I came down the hill and when I turned the corner and I was looking at people, I looked at the cutest guy ever coming on a bike, just staring at me smiling. And I smiled right back at him and I was so excited. You know, we all wanna be seen and we all wanna feel like we matter. And I was so tickled that I got that attention and I smiled right back at him and I was like, right on. Um, so it, just from looking up, and just from being a part of what was happening around me and unplugging from my phone, which I find so interesting that sometimes I think God or the universe or whatever gives us little treats that sometimes we want to get mad about. Like my phone wasn't charged when I made sure to charge it all night. It wasn't charged. So I even would like to say thanks to whatever or however my phone didn't get charged so I could be awake on my walk and I could see the cute guy and I could let my dog sniff butts and I could see the butterflies and I could say hi to all the people. And as I said hi, and as I saw the purple flowers and the yellow flowers, I felt more alive and really happy and excited when I got in my car and then hauled ass to come here to talk to you guys. Um, so today I invite you, when you're doing something like walking, even if it's to your car, if it's walking with a friend, if it's some of our greatest um, thoughts and our greatest healings and our greatest connection is when we're moving our body in a beautiful way and walking is amazing. So today when you're walking, even at the mall, or even look at people in the eye and smile at them, um, notice a color on a wall um, that you haven't seen before, look at a butterfly. I mean, it's really crazy the things that are being presented to us every day that when we're plugged in or we're talking or we're moving quickly, we don't see. Um, okay, a quick quote that I saw. Um, this is from Sally Walker. I don't know who that is, but I liked this um, when I looked it up. Just feel the magic in the air and the power in the breeze. Feel the energy of the plants, the bushes and the trees. Let yourself be surrounded by nature at its best. Calm yourself, focus and let magic do the rest. So I felt like as I was more present and looking at everything, beautiful things showed up today. Um, so I gift that upon you to walk today with openness and see what's around you and smile and say, hi, it feels so dang good. Even though it feels silly when people are looking down and you go, hi, but then they look and they go, hi, they didn't even know they wanted it. I didn't even know I wanted it. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a quick prayer if I may. I forgot to take my glasses off, but I couldn't see. Um, God, I'm grateful for my feet on the ground. I'm grateful for being supported without even having to do a thing. I am grateful that things happen like my phone dies after I charged it all night so I could be unplugged and walk today with my eyes and heart open. Thank you for the butterflies and the purple flowers and the yellow flowers and the men with the dog and my dog showing me to let him sniff dogs and quit fighting him and uh, the cute guy on the bike who smiled at me. All of it filled my heart, reminded me that I'm awake and I'm connected to everyone. Um, be with me today and let me take a pause before I react or try not to react and be with all the people who are tuning in and um, showering love around the world. Um, and hopefully everyone can have their hearts filled. Amen. Have a beautiful day, you guys. I'm going to go parent to maybe put on my bathing suit and jump in the pool because I'm hot. Um, love you. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm.